Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today we have a 2015 Acura MDX. It's a graphite luster metallic. You can see it looks kind of greenish in the, the picture, you know, but it, you know, it's a lot better in real life. So here's another better view of the vehicle and we're looking at the engine compartment. Nice LED headlights. Okay, looking at the engine compartment, you can see that the engine compartment is a little bit uh, covered compared to the previous model uh, that was in 2013. So 2014 they did the redesign and nothing has changed in 2015 by the way. Uh, you know you can see the engine compartment and plus the windshield wiper and plus some other items are open like the air filter as well. But all the other smaller items are like the radiator and such you know um, you need to remove the cover to ask system, which is really easy to remove. You start from one side and work your way to the other side. Notice the integrated turn signals in the side mirrors, left and right. You can see the one here on the right, and you can see the one on the left on that video. Nice alloy wheels, you know, looks really similar to the previous model. Uh, this one is actually. This MDX is a little bit lower. I notice I have the the engine um, the hood still open right here. So I just want to let you know so the picture looks a little bit different if you wanted to pay particular attention to every single detail. And this one's inside the showroom, um, swing for a particular uh, part. And I actually was able to snap some shots of the 2015 model. Here's the exterior view of the same vehicle and notice, oh by the way, this one doesn't have the tail pipes uh, showing anymore. Yeah, most of the Acura dealers, Acura vehicles, they take that out. It's supposedly environmentally friendly, I guess. Look, uh, here's the view of the, the right side. And you know, the lines are still very conservative. Uh, you can see it's very clean lines, you know, very family oriented uh, SUV. Here uh, we're looking at the the lift gate, which you know you have the power lift gate. There's a button to actually close the door. Notice that in uh, on this vehicle, the front only sits two, the center row sits three, and the last row sits uh, two people as well. There is a hidden latch that you could access items if you want to store them for security. So that's something good to know. And they added. Uh, things near the door latch over there that if we were to slide stuff you could easily slide in and you also go you know there are other things you can add in the vehicle like nets and you know basically uh, cargo tray and such you know other options you could actually beautify the vehicle more to your custom taste uh, I would say and it's gray stone interior so I just wanted to add that so if you're wondering what color is it the color is gray stone so uh, the opening is pretty big, you know, and one thing I want to see if I could show you is the lights on the lift gate. You actually could turn on those as well, too. So if it's really dark and you need to turn those on, you could turn the those lights on in the back of the lift gate. Oh, by the way, on here, the cluster, cluster and um, you could see that, you know, the speedometer, fuel, and, uh, you know, the multi-information display and the push start ignition and the glove compartment you can see in that they'll have nice finishes throughout this vehicle that's the thing I really like this vehicle a lot and um, there's definitely a lot of chrome finished you know ascended with uh, wood throughout the vehicle and the seats are very comfortable way better than the previous model I would say it feels a lot bigger you know the quality is just raised to the next par uh, next level you know and you know like on this one uh, we still have the the vents the tri-zone climate control so that's you know makes the everybody happy and you got the, also the map um, behind you know holders behind the, the, the seats as well too so here's a view of the the driver's side and you see you know you can see all the different buttons you still could get for like speed, speed, uh, speed navigation, uh, navigation pretty much. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the 
the lights are not on in this particular vehicle, so there's no power. Uh, they didn't attach the battery, I think. So something to to note. So you still have a lot of cargo room. If all the seats are up, you can see that. And there's very ample uh, cargo room, so I wouldn't worry about cargo room. And this is an, the other side view. Notice there's also cup holders. You can see, you know, actually, you know, maybe a. Uh, you know, put some cups in there on the side door. This one still comes with those things, which is amazing. Some of the, like the RELX doesn't come with that anymore. So um, let's see if we could take a peek at the seat. Notice the, the seat, the leather is really good quality. And, you know, it was standing up over time. You know, you got the wood accented with chrome throughout the vehicle. Yeah, one seat down over there, by the way. So I wanted to show you how that looked like. And you know, it's still ample room. The quarter panel, which we just glanced over, uh, does interfere with the backup of the vehicle. So you want to pay particular attention to that. Uh, use the backup camera, maybe. So that's in a lot of many vehicles nowadays. Uh, you know, so if you're backing up, you got to look back or uh, use the backup camera. And as you can see, the roominess of this vehicle is way better than the RDX in terms of roominess. And you know, you're not paying a big mileage penalty for uh, you know going with the MDS compared to the RDX, which is the smaller sibling, which came out earlier, you know, than the MDX. And this is just a bigger vehicle overall. You got the radio controls, and, you know, and uh, cruise control for the speed over there. Uh, you still have the, the nightmare, and you know you got the lights, the map lights, and the garage op garage feature, garage door opener feature, multi information display. Some people like that, and some people don't. I mentioned, you know, all the things you had in the previous MDX. This one had it, and just everything is a little bit better, and uh, that's something to add. And um, you know, nice touches throughout, a lot of chrome touches. I mean, it gives you the high quality look of the particular vehicle, you know. And you can see here, they got the nice ring around the cup holders over there. And nice big console to put a lot of storage if you need it. Okay, as we zoom to the pretty much near the end we can see I'm gonna give a shot of the hour wheels you know they really looks really good on those as well too in this particular one that you know and a lot of these MDX's they look very similar to the previous uh, vehicle in terms of the shape the look and the styling so they haven't really changed a whole lot you just took it and improved it more to add some more uh, luxury to it as well so notice we're zooming around this vehicle you can see uh, you know pretty much no nonsense design here no sharp lines or anything like that no. very friendly you know and it's, it's you know it's a SUV I would say so so that's pretty much the video um, hope you like the video it was enjoyable and by the way it's the same shot of the left side of the vehicle and it's a uh, graphite luster metallic and um, I used to have the MDX as you probably noticed in my videos and I loved it and here's the newer version that's even better so all those people who would love to get one you know go for it I would say anyway thanks for joining me today hopefully you enjoyed the video and I appreciate a thumbs up and I see you next time and happy new year all right. Bye.